a new mom, an old bonus mom. And I do kind of like influencing. I do kind of lifestyle, beauty, fashion content. And sometimes I do some gossip here and there, here and there, here and there, not that much. Growing up, I used to never understand why my mom would spend forever in the bathroom until I became a mom. Until I became a mom. Now, I'm like in the bathroom with my candles, lights off, I'm pumping. This is my peace time. And now my mom is out there with my kids doing everything. Everything I told her not to do. So this video is kind of I I had my um I've been a mom for two weeks. Well, I've had Taiwan for over a year, so I've been a mom. I've been a bonus mom. I've been a real mom for two weeks. Um, I had my postpartum depression test. And I passed it, thank God, because they were asking some really crazy, scary, scary questions. So now I'm doing my check-in and so um i hope this like pump thing is not making too much noise um i have to pump a lot because we're getting ready to go to our other house um in central florida and i'm so excited as you guys see i'm in my small vanity bathroom and so i miss my big 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 vanity and my big 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 um bathroom that my husband and I share he probably doesn't miss that he likes having his own bathroom in our room on the other side and then I have my bathroom on this side because this is where I do my hair you see I do my perfume my makeup everything and so I get to keep it messy it doesn't get mad okay Okay, so this is why my mom used to lock herself in the bathroom as a kid. So I was having a nice day, a nice night, you know, doing my eyebrows. I was going to do my hair, everything. My stepson starts screaming. My real son just starts screaming. All kids <laughs> started screaming. I rushed out of the bathroom. I broke. I dropped my favorite, favorite body oil that shattered all over the place. And long story short, it was a prank. There was nothing wrong with him. It just derailed my whole entire night. So today we're going to the pool. And then another thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to install this security camera in my stepson's room because he watches too much TikTok and YouTube. And now he's at the age where he's constantly trying to prank me. And he's screaming, screaming, screaming. I go into the room, there's nothing wrong with him. He'll just be like, can you bring me a snack? Can you bring me a drink? And he thinks it's funny. I'm never gonna know when it's serious, when it's not serious. So long story short, um, he has his own private bathroom in his room, everything like that. So I'm gonna put this security camera, I'm going to install it in his room so that way if he's something's going on, I hear too much noise, whatever, whatever, I could peek in, see if it's serious, if it if it calls for me to walk all the way to the other side. But yeah, so we're gonna go to the pool today. Hopefully we have a good day and yeah. How are you, mom? Dive. What happened? Get it. You don't want it? You want me to put it back on? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Tyron. Yeah. So how is it having a little brother so far? Good. Just good. That's it? Hmm? You say you love him so much. No, you don't. He doesn't do anything. Are you 
Oh, you just love him for being your brother, that's it. Talk like a big boy. I can't understand you. Well, I can't because I am sick. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got your, your nose situation going up. You didn't need to do that. You didn't need to do that at all. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Are you excited to go back to school? Hmm? Yes. What grade are you going to? Did you fart? No. It's a small. Yeah. It ain't me. Okay. That's good. We have a kickball tournament. Yes, we have a kickball tournament today. Are you excited? Are you going to win? Yeah. You better hope you do because I ain't coming. It's hot. So I ain't coming out to see no losers. So I hope you, I hope you, um, I hope you do your big one. Okay, so I'll be there today watching you. Okay, so we have a couple more hours until Tyron's kickball game. Um, he swears to me that he's going to win. I am not one of those parents that allows my children to be, you know, lie to with false hope do i think tyron and his team is gonna win honestly i don't because i've seen the practice and i wasn't i wasn't impressed in practice so right now we're gonna charge the car up we're gonna head over to the grocery store to get some snacks and some fruit and some water for the game um hopefully it doesn't rain because it has been raining in um florida so Hopefully it doesn't rain, and then we will be able to go watch his game. Um, after that, I'm really just gonna go home, try to do something with this hair. I have some content I have to shoot. One of the things you have to worry about these chargers, these chargers are always um, out of service. So sometimes I'll go and I'll plug the car up and I think that it's charging and I come back and it never charged so I'm gone for like an hour so I always have to make sure I stay here hit the continue button lock the car doors because girl you know that we in that type of neighborhood yeah we is in that type of neighborhood and um let the car charge for about 30 minutes uh, this game is not for a couple hours, but you know, I want to get some fruit, some water, you know, just some nice, nice little, oh, sorry, better fix their tires, y'all. What are you guys all gonna go off? Ah, I remember doing this walk when I was pregnant and it was exhausting. And now that I'm not pregnant, ooh, it's still exhausting. I wonder if they're going to, um, while I was at my biggest, I used to always take the handicap wheelchair. So, hopefully, girl, hopefully I'll be able to take it today. I don't feel like walking. My hips hurt. I did have a C-section. Oh, yeah, I'm still handicapped. I had a C-section. Walking long distances hurts me. So I'm gonna take the handicap. I spend my life with you. I won't please you anywhere I can. I won't share my world. Don't you understand? Everything you do makes me love everything about you. 
I do not feel like waiting and I have some I have some um what is this called donations I have to give in that box so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stop the charge it's only been like 22 minutes it went from 16% to 69% so I can go charge it tomorrow I'm only able to charge in the morning because it'd be so crowded everybody has an electric car now well it feels like everybody has an electric car and so these stations are always so full and the chargers are always breaking so um I never have time to come here during the day or at night I don't come here during the night because you know this area is an area but it's just so crazy how there's not like electric chargers at like gas stations like if I was a gas station owner that's one of the okay it's not it probably wouldn't be one of the first things I get but definitely would have been on my list to get one or two electric chargers because there's not a lot and when you run out of a charge it's not like you could push the car it's not like somebody could bring you gas in the tank or charge in a tank once you lose your um once it dies you're asked out and you have to get it towed so there's not a lot of chargers the, the rant there's not a lot of chargers and so i'll do the rest tomorrow Whew. i have to do something with this hair i got some little snacks little stuff for us to eat while we're watching the game my mom is at home with the baby so um i've been out since 6 30 this morning it's like eight o'clock now so i'm gonna go home wash my hands wash my hair a little bit and kiss my baby kiss my little muffin pie so be right I didn't have time to do my own hair this morning Hello? or my own face because I had to get my baby ready for his little surgery. Are you embarrassed? Are you, are you shamed or something? Is something going on with you? My baby's first surgery. I'm not nervous. Because they told me it's going to be 10 minutes. Are you nervous? Are you? Are you nervous? He's not nervous. He's going to be pissed, though. He's asleep. And he can't have anything to eat until after his surgery. So he's going to be really, really mad. And then after that, we're going to go to Golden Corral. So we'll get to celebrate. Pass me that brush. Don't brush his hair and wake him up and then he starts crying for a bottle because his surgery is not for another 30 something minutes. It's not, I don't know what type, I didn't know what type of uh, traffic it was going to be. I didn't know how long the wait was. I don't, I don't like being late. Um, yeah. So we're going to go. <laughs> we're going to go to Golden Corral, have us some breakfast. And then we're gonna go up to the house in Orlando and spend the weekend. He's gonna meet his cousin. 
cousins and his aunties and I'm so super excited. Okay. Got peed on twice. Mom didn't do anything with his little penis. <laughs> And the person who wanted to get you circumcised is not even here. <laughs> I didn't even know anything about circumcision. I just thought some boys came chunky and just something. Really? I really because you know how some girls like they have different vaginas and yeah. stuff like that. So I just thought boys had different vaginas. I didn't know y'all was out here <laughs> peeling back banana peels and all this crazy <laughs> stuff. Um, you can go ahead and lift him up. I'm just gonna measure okay. these little markings. And I'm all done with him, so once I get this measurement, you guys can put his little onesie back on. Um, does he have, that one is perfect, that onesie with the buttons in between the legs, he can okay. put that back on. He doesn't have to take it back off for the procedure. I'm going to put a different one on, this one is a little blank. Oh, he got, okay. Mm -mm. Wait, do you have another one, like that style? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect, because yes. that he can have on during the procedure, you'll have to undress him again. Oh, okay. 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 And he's 22 inches, you guys. Thank you. Mm, you're rowdy. So, before the surgery even happened, when they went to go strap my baby down to the, the bed to do a circumcision, I immediately started, like, hysterically crying. And the nurse came in and said, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Because he, like, just started, he started crying. My baby doesn't cry like that. So when he started crying, because they, like, put him in a thing, um, it made me cry so bad. I was like sobbing. And then they put like some sugar water on a napkin and put it in his mouth. And then his fat butt just went to. And he just, uh, they numbed him up, gave him general anesthesia. So he didn't feel anything. So he could care less. I kept crying the entire time. So, um, we're at our house, um, in central Florida, uh, my baby is going to meet his aunties on his dad's side for the first time and his cousins for the first time and he's at his he doesn't clearly he doesn't know but he's at his second home for the first time so he has a bunch of bunch of firsts today and I'm super super excited I got the the little bassinet thing he's like getting ready to wake up my mom is chitty chitty chat chat over there so before the baby wakes up he just woke up i'm gonna go to the grocery store and leave my mom here and buy us some little supplies Bye. okay this is a part of motherhood that someone probably definitely warned me about but i did not listen because on me I have to wake up at the crack of dawn just so I can get myself my stepson and my baby all ready to go by 10 a.m. so unbeknownst to my stepson I got us tickets to go to like some Miami Dolphins training day thing. Um, it's a surprise, I didn't tell him. Um, oh, this is clear stem vitamin scrub. That would be amazing, anyway. But uh, yeah, I didn't tell him. And so, it's a surprise. And so it starts at 10.30 a.m. I have to now wake up at 5.45 so I can do my hair, my makeup, wash my body, bathe my body, lotion my body, get my outfits together. Then I'm going to wake up my steps friend. I picked him up from his mom's house. He spent the weekend at his mom, so I have to wake him up this morning to take a shower. He was so exhausted when he came home. He went right to sleep. And so I have to um, get him 
washed, lotioned, brush teeth with toothpaste. Chow. I didn't know I had to specify. Now I, I just learned. I just learned I have to specify. Um, when he's washing, when he's brushing his teeth, I have to tell him to use toothpaste. This whole time I've been thinking he's been brushing his teeth with toothpaste. I didn't know you had to, you had to be specific. Child. Like I said, new mom. And so, um, yeah. Then after I get him ready, I have to give him breakfast. Then wake my son up. Feed him, change him. Um, he doesn't know where we're going, so I have to I have to hide our outfits. I already bought Baby Boy a couple dolphins um, outfits or whatever, and then my husband bought me this. That put this I have to hide all this in the car because he knows I'm not a sports fan and so um if he sees me wearing this or if he sees the baby wearing the outfits he's gonna be like oh huh? like what? what so um I have to hide all that in the car I have to make snacks I'm gonna make him a peanut butter jelly sandwich a turkey sandwich with cheese, a ham sandwich with cheese, because Lord knows this kid wakes up, one day he eats ham, one day he doesn't eat turkey, I don't know. So I gotta make a peanut butter jelly sandwich, a ham sandwich, and a turkey sandwich. Um, I have some chips and some sodas and everything like that in the car already. I have to put my stroller in the car, and that, I'm gonna do that before everybody wakes up, because that's gonna take like, forever to break down and everything, so. I can wake up super early. <sighs> so, that way, um, we can be there on time. Um, my husband is not coming with us for the simple fact that he has season tickets to the Dolphins and they go sit in the sky box and all this other stuff and they never ever ever invite me um they know i don't really like sports like that however i would like to be invited sometimes they don't invite me so i did not invite him and i told him i told my husband exactly why i didn't invite him so he knows so he's letting me I do everything by myself. So, um, I'm really excited. Only because, like, before me, Tyron and I would just wake up and I would just ask him, like, what do you want to do today? And he'll be like, oh, I want to go to the museum. I want to go to the library. I want to go to the park. I want to go to the pool. I want to go here. I want to go here. Blah, blah, blah. And, like, it was his world. And then I had... I got really, really pregnant, so, like, around April, May, that's when we stopped doing things or going places, because I was super pregnant, I was tired, and I just couldn't do a lot of things, I couldn't be in the sun like that. Then I had the baby, and I was in the hospital for over a week. Then I had to recover from my C-section, and then my mom came, and then everything was about the baby, the baby, the baby, and, like, I could just see that my stepson is starting to get a little bit irritated um, because like I said it was just us and like it was his world and now like things are just different and so um, I want us to have a good time and I want us to like do what we used to do I mean the baby's coming with us so He's gonna, he's gonna have to be used to that, but I want him to, um, you know, get back to just, you know, doing things that he likes and things that he has an interest in, so I'm really, really excited. 
I'm going to try to vlog. I'm also awake so I can charge my phone, charge the camera, charge my breast pumps. I have 50 million things to charge now all of a sudden. So hopefully I get some good footage and we have a good time. And I hope you're super, super excited. Okay, ooh, this is cute. I like this little track. Can I drive in the truck? No. Why? Are you crazy? Can I drive around? No. Who you be driving with? Mom, he, he, he let me. He who, who let you drive? I got my driving license. <laughs> who let you drive? You said you got your driver's license? Yeah, I got my driver's license. Who gave you a driver's license? I got my driver's license from Legoland. Oh, from Legoland? Oh. Who be letting you drive their car? My mom and Stop telling on Gloria, please. You gonna get them people called to her house again, okay? Gloria did not let you drive no car. Don't even say nothing like that. She be letting you drive her car? The new car no, or the no. old car? The old car when it was. Oh, when it was. Oh, yeah. She ain't letting you drive that new car. Can't get up in that new car. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that good laugh. All right. So we just got here. Ow. Why did you? Why did you just hit me like that? You lost your mind? We just got here. Okay. We got the baby in tow. We got the t-shirts and everything. So stop. Do not hit me. Cause if I hit you, it's gonna hurt. Don't hit me. No. Um, so now we're going inside. Let's go. Yeah, so, what? Okay. Like, they were having fun. Olivia. Olivia. Girl, I'm sweating. All right, put my hand in front of her, girl. It's a poop. My little baby. Daddy's on his way. Daddy's gonna be back. Mom, did you enjoy spending time with us? I enjoyed spending time with my church, right? Oh, okay. What about the rest of us? You're all right. Okay. Right, church, right? Yeah, she only wants to stay with me. You people grow. She don't need no wrong people. Oh. Like okay, girl. Well, you see? Oh my goodness. Alright, say bye, Mom. Say bye. You're not gonna wave? Okay. Deuces. <laughs>